I'd say about four weeks ago, somebody had said, you know, you haven't done a lot of product reviews. I'm like, oh my gosh, you're right. And then I've done an onslaught of product reviews. Somebody just wrote me and says, you know, you haven't done any Lazy Man recipes in a while. So I got some Lazy Man recipes I'm working on right now, okay? So be ready for those. And then we're gonna finish up with some more uh, barbecuing uh, before the summer comes to an end. Even though school started, it's still summertime. I don't know how that works. Anyway, I just wanna to talk to you about this new product. So come on in close, let me show you what it looks like. So the company that sent me this, they sent it a while ago and I just wanna thank them for being patient. I finally got to it. And it's from California Home Goods called the Oven Copper Crisper. Wow, that's pretty cool. There it is, it's two pieces. You have the basket where you can, you can bake veggies, season them up. And the beautiful thing is, you guys see how I use like a cookie sheet, a rimmed cookie sheet with um, a cooling rack on top. That's what this is made for. I've been, you know, doing a, a ghetto version of it, but this is basically to prevent the food from sticking to the pan and in its grease and juices, keeping it lifted so that it can bake underneath too and get crispy all around. So we're doing two things in this. First, I'm gonna cook some chicken in here. We're gonna cook it up and see how it looks on both sides. And then I'm going to be doing some French fries and we're gonna see how it does. Before we get the chicken out, I've already washed this, I've dried it off, and now I just wanna give it a spray because we don't want the chicken sticking. Have you ever had any meat stick to these, these uh, netted, grady, whatever you call them? They're just hard to clean. And I'm gonna clean this and let you know how it is to clean, so be ready. Okay, we're just doing a simple salt and pepper. That's about it, we're doing it on both sides. All right, oven's ready, let's pop this in. All right, let's set this right here. Let's take a look here, see how that skin did. I flipped it, but you can see it's beautiful. It's fully cooked. I'm just gonna broil it a little bit and get the tops browned. So let me pop that back in and then we're gonna go to step two. Oh yeah, now look at that. Look how beautiful, look at that, Isn't that gorgeous. That's how I like it. So I just flip them over and let it, let it crisp up those tops. I'm gonna let that rest. Look at all the grease at the bottom. It's not sitting in the grease. It fully cooked all around the chicken. It did a great job, let me show you. Look at the bottoms. Perfect. Still got all the seasoning on them. Oh, look at that. All right, I'm not even cleaning it yet. It's, Still got all the grease. I don't have to worry because the grease has dropped through. I'm just gonna put, put on some crinkle cut fries. All right, let's get these on now. We got the chicken resting, so we're gonna see how this also works for french fries. Look at them, they're beautiful, hot, hot, hot. And let those cool. First thing you wanna do once french fries come out of the oven, if you haven't already, you wanna hit them with some seasoning. I'm using the best gourmet seasoning you'll ever taste. Just gonna Get a little bit on all of them. There it is, guys. Baked chicken with a nice crispy skin, golden brown french fries, nice salad with that oven copper crisper device. I'll have a link down below if you wanna get one. I might even need to get a second one so I can cook all this at one time. That would have been great. Or maybe they'll make a bigger one. That'd be even better. All right, before I clean, I just wanna try it real quick. Mmm. Golden brown all around. Just how I like it. All right, you ready to go to the sink? Let's go to the sink and see how it cleans up. This is exactly how it came out of the oven. I did spray it. Hopefully it'll make it easy. And I always use Adobe. It's got a little soap in it already. A little warm water. First thing I have to do is just rinse it the best I can. Just with my fingers. It looks almost as nice as it came out of the package. It's coated with a lot of oil and grease from the chicken. That's what the soap is for. But look how well it cleaned up. All right, so this is probably the hardest thing. So I'm gonna rinse it first. Okay, wow. 
This is probably one of the, this is better than my cooling rack. This cleaned up like just by the touch. I will soap it up and do that right now. But I'm going to tell you right now, guys, this cleans up great. And there you go. You want one of these? Link down below. I'll see you on the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.